Now, there's one issue which we haven't discussed at all which could still fit within what I just described, and that is the issue of settlements. Not because he thinks there needs to be a settlements freeze so there can be a negotiation with the Palestinians, but because he may feel that the best way to show his constituents that there is a shift in the priorities of the government that he's going into <coughs> is that the money spent on settlement activity is going to be sent on, spent on the domestic priorities that his constituents care about. And there, uh, Nathan's point about him being a centrist is not inconsistent with this. That is to say, he could insist on <coughs> settlement activity only in the settlement blocks along the Green Line, and only in Jerusalem, but not anywhere else. That, by the way, is a settlements freeze which Bibi could accept as well. He's been kind of saying that that was a settlements freeze that Olmert, when he was prime minister, essentially had in place with, with uh, agreement with, with George W. Bush. It's not really a freeze, but it's a restriction in activity one in, in, in throughout the West Bank area. And it'll be interesting to see whether he makes that a demand. Uh, because it would be a high, if he, he could get it, and it would be a, a way of saying to his people, we change the priorities of the government 